carbon-14, 14C, or radiocarbon, is a radioactive isotope of carbon with a nucleus containing six protons and eight neutrons. Its presence in organic materials is the basis of the radiocarbon dating method pioneered by Willard Libby and colleagues to date archaeological, geological and hydrogeological samples. Carbon-14 was discovered on February 27, 1940, by Martin Carmen and Sam Rubin at the University of California Radiation Laboratory in Berkeley. Its existence had been suggested by Franz Curie in 1934. There are three naturally occurring isotopes of carbon on Earth, 99% of the carbon is carbon-12, 1% is carbon-13, and carbon-14 occurs in trace amounts, that is, making up about one part per trillion of the carbon in the atmosphere. The half-life of carbon-14 is 5,738 plus or minus 40 years. Carbon-14 decays into nitrogen-14 through beta decay. The primary natural source of carbon-14 on Earth is cosmic ray action upon nitrogen in the atmosphere, and it is therefore a cosmogenic nuclide. However, open-air nuclear testing between 1955 and Euro 1980 contributed to this pool. The different isotopes of carbon do not differ appreciably in their chemical properties. This is used in chemical and biological research, in a technique called carbon labeling. Carbon-14 atoms can be used to replace non-radioactive carbon, in order to trace chemical and biochemical reactions involving carbon atoms from any given organic compound. Radioactive decay in detection, carbon-14 goes through radioactive beta decay. By emitting an electron and an electron onto a neutrino, one of the neutrons in the carbon-14 atom decays to a proton and the carbon-14 decays into the stable isotope nitrogen-14. The emitted beta particles have maximum energy of 156 keV, while their average energy is 49 keV. These are relatively low energies. The maximum distance traveled is estimated to be 22 cm in air and 0.27 arm in body tissue. The fraction of the radiation transmitted through the dead skin layer is estimated to be 0.11. Small amounts of carbon-14 are not easily detected by typical Giga Euromar one quarter layer detectors. It is estimated that GM detectors will not normally detect contamination of less than about 100 A000 disintegration per minute. Liquid scintillation counting is the preferred method. The GM counting efficiency is estimated to be 3%. The half-distance layer in water is 0.05 ohm. Radiocarbon dating. Radiocarbon dating is a radiometric dating method that uses to determine the age of carbonaceous materials up to about 60,000 years old. The technique was developed by Willard Libby and his colleagues in 1949 during his tenure as a professor at the University of Chicago. Libby estimated that the radioactivity of exchangeable carbon-14 would be about 14 disintegrations per minute per gram of pure carbon and this is still used as the activity of the modern radiocarbon standard. In 1960, Libby was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for this work. One of the frequent uses of the technique is to date organic remains from archaeological sites. Plants fix atmospheric carbon during photosynthesis, so the level of 14C in plants and animals when they die approximately equals the level of 14C in the atmosphere at that time. However, it decreases thereafter from radioactive decay, allowing the date of death or fixation to be estimated. The initial 14C level for the calculation can either be estimated, or else directly compared with known year-by-year -year data from tree ring data up to 10,000 years ago, or else from cave deposits, back to about 45,000 years before the present. A calculation or a direct comparison of carbon-14 levels in a sample with tree ring or cave deposit carbon-14 levels of a known age, then gives the wood or animal sample age since formation. Origin, natural production in the atmosphere. Carbon-14 is produced in the upper layers of the troposphere and the stratosphere by thermal neutrons absorbed by nitrogen atoms. When cosmic rays enter the atmosphere, they undergo various transformations, including the production of neutrons. The resulting neutrons participate in the following reaction, 1N plus 14NA14C plus 1P, 
the highest rate of carbon-14 production takes place at altitudes of 9 to 15 km and at high geomagnetic latitudes. As of 2008, the rate of carbon-14 production was poorly known a euro while the reaction can be modeled or the current concentrations and the global carbon budget can be used to backtrack. Attempts to directly measure the production rate had not agreed with these models very well. Production rates vary because of changes to the cosmic ray flux incident, such as supernovae, and due to variations in the Earth's magnetic field. The latter can create significant variations in carbon-14 production rates, although the changes of the carbon cycle can make these effects difficult to tease out. The natural atmospheric yield of carbon-14 has been estimated to be about 22 A000 atoms 14 C per meter square of the surface of the Earth per second, resulting in the global production rate of about 1 pbqa. Another estimate of the average production rate gives a value of 20 A500 atoms Mar 2 Zar 1. Occasional spikes are possible. For example, there is evidence for an unusual tenfold increase of the production rate in AD 774 Euro 775. Other carbon-14 sources, carbon-14 can also be produced by other neutron reactions, including in particular 13 C, N, gamma, 14 C and 17 O, N, alpha, 14 C with thermal neutrons, and 15 N, N, D, 14 C and 16 O, N, 3 He. 14C with fast neutrons. The most notable routes for 14C production by thermal neutron irradiation of targets are summarized in the table. Carbon-14 may also be radiogenic. However, this origin is extremely rare. Formation during nuclear tests. The above-ground nuclear tests that occurred in several countries between 1955 and 1980 dramatically increased the amount of carbon-14 in the atmosphere and subsequently in the biosphere. After the tests ended, the atmospheric concentration of the isotope began to decrease. One side effect of the change in atmospheric carbon-14 is that this has enabled some options for determining the birth year of an individual, in particular, the amount of carbon-14 in tooth enamel or the carbon-14 concentration in the lens of the eye. Occurrence, dispersion in the environment, after production in the upper atmosphere, the carbon-14 atoms react rapidly to form mostly 14CO, which subsequently oxidizes at a slower rate to form 14CO2, radioactive carbon dioxide. The gas mixes rapidly and becomes evenly distributed throughout the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide also dissolves in water and thus permeates the oceans, but at a slower rate. The atmospheric half-life for removal of 14 CO2 has been estimated to be roughly 12 to 16 years in the northern hemisphere. The transfer between the ocean shallow layer and the large reservoir of bicarbonates in the ocean depths occurs at a limited rate. Total inventory The inventory of carbon-14 in Earth's biosphere is about 300 megacuries of which most is in the oceans. The following inventory of carbon-14 has been given, global inventory, 8500 pbq, atmosphere, 140 pbq, terrestrial materials, the balance. From nuclear testing, 220 pbq, in fossil fuels, most man-made chemicals are made of fossil fuels, such as petroleum or coal, in which the carbon-14 should have long since decayed. However, such deposits often contain trace amounts of carbon-14. This may indicate possible contamination by small amounts of bacteria, underground sources of radiation causing the 14N, N, P, 14C reaction, direct uranium decay, or other unknown secondary sources of carbon-14 production. Presence of carbon-14 in the isotopic signature of a sample of carbonaceous material possibly indicates its contamination by biogenic sources or the decay of radioactive material and surrounding geologic strata. In connection with building the Balkzino Solar Neutrino Observatory, petroleum feedstock was obtained with low 14C content. In the Balkzino Counting Test Facility, a 14C-12C ratio of 1.94A 1018 was determined. Probable reactions responsible for varied levels of 14C in different petroleum reservoirs, and the lower 14C levels in methane, have been discussed by Bonvicini et al. In the human body, 
since essentially all sources of human food are derived from plants, the carbon that comprises our bodies contains carbon-14 at the same concentration as the atmosphere. The rates of disintegration of potassium-40 and carbon-14 in the normal adult body are comparable. The beta decays from external radiocarbon contribute approximately 0.01 msv year to each person's dose of ionizing radiation. This is small compared to the doses from potassium-40 and radon. Carbon-14 can be used as a radioactive tracer in medicine. In the initial variant of the urea breath test, a diagnostic test for Helicobacter pylori, urea labeled with approximately 37 kbq carbon-14 is fed to a patient. In the event of an H. pylori infection, the bacterial urease enzyme breaks down the urea into ammonia and radioactively labeled carbon dioxide, which can be detected by low-level counting of the patient's breath. The 14C urea breath test has been largely replaced by the 13C urea breath test which has no radiation issues. See also, isotopic labeling, radiocarbon dating, references. Further reading, Carmen, Martin D. Radiant Science, Dark Politics, A Memoir of the Nuclear Age. Berkeley, University of California Press. ISBN A0 520 04929 2 External links What is Carbon Dating? Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute.